Hey friends, welcome back to Code Salsa training video series on Code Igniter. Today, in today's video, we'll discuss about making some basic configuration to your Code Igniter project, like uh, creating common header and footer files, integrating assets like CSS and JS into a separate assets folder or CSS JS folder, and integrating that into your uh, view. We'll see that how to do do that. So first of all, uh, in our last session, we have created a uh, users controller where we have created one uh, view for the list of users, and uh, we have created a view file view users.php where we have loaded the list of we are trying to load the list of users. We just only have shown the uh, one h1 tag with the text h1 list of all users so let's load that and we'll see let me load my local host then we'll go to users okay so I can I can see you can see the list of users h1 tag is visible on the users control users controller view right so what I'll do I'll create a folder within my views called as common and within that we'll create a new file called as header dot PHP and create another file within the same common folder that footer dot PHP right within header dot PHP write down your basic uh, HTML template like uh, EGCRM the title of the my project and move the Keep the tight the head section and the starting body. Move the end body HTML and HTML to the footer. Footer PHP. Now, this is the basic thing I have done. I need to load this. You can see in my view, I am not getting any title. So, to load the header dot PHP on my users dot PHP view. So what I'll do, I'll simply write PHP dollar this load view and the name of your view including the path that is common slash name of the view is header. Please exclude the dot php extension as coding to automatically understand its php file similarly for footer do it uh, integrate dollar this load view common slash footer right so you can see that when why when i load the page you can get the title over here because in the header we have mentioned only a title nothing else right if you will have any other structure like uh, if you will integrate bootstrap or I will have a div dot div class uh, container and within the container uh, I will have in the container in the footer okay and in the style I'll write in the head I'll have the style tag and within style I will write body background color h1 color red 
you will see that all these changes will reflect on your page because I am loading the common header.php file and common footer.php file on my page. So this will make you easy to manage your pages. Suppose you have a sidebar that is common for all pages. You can create a sidebar.php file and load that view within your template or on your content template. So this is how you can load the different views within another template, right? Next is I will write this CSS within a CSS file, right? So let me create a CSS file, call that as uh, custom.css and I will put that custom.css file within the base within my root directory that is this is the root directory okay where my application system user guide folders are located right there I will create one more folder let me create it here first okay uh, in the egcrm create a folder called assets So within assets create a new another folder called as CSS and within CSS save this file as within assets CSS save this file as custom.css and now get the CSS from here and put it within common.css now you will find that in your page the CSS will not work but we need to integrate the CSS how to integrate the CSS so in the header.php write down link in the href you need to define php base URL if you remember in the initial initially we have defined a base URL in our application config config.php this is the base URL okay this is the base URL class that we have the base URL that we have defined our your base URL of the project so I am calling this base URL and the name of the file that is assets slash CSS slash custom dot CSS right this will load my CSS file within header of the page let's see call to undefined function base URL why this is happening because we have defined the base URL in the config and have called the base URL but to make it work we need a helper class right we need a helper class to make it work so in the auto load go to the helpers and define URL it needs the URL helper class to helper files to make it work so now it will start working so there is some error I think uh, let's see what path it's loading href href unknown okay it's not loading the css file so here in uh, our header.php oh we forgot to mention echo base url then the url of the file let's see now yes it starts to work now right the same way you can load your other CSS files if you have a JavaScript file uh, within your assets create new folder called as JS and within JS create a new file called as 
custom dot js so in the footer i'll write sorry script src echo base url within that define assets js slash custom dot js so this will load your custom dot javascript file whatever custom functionality you have written for your javascript you see it's loading your custom javascript file so we don't have written any javascript currently so this way you can load your just see the path localhost course also egcrm assets js custom js okay so only one template ta template tag that we used it is base url this is to define the url base url of the of your project then after that you can define your file name which file you want to load right so that's it for this video uh, hope you like it if you like the video please subscribe to our channel course salsa if you have any comments any queries please write it down in the comment section below please like the video subscribe the channel course salsa and share the video thank you bye bye